name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I meet you again, brothers and sisters, and greet you all, praying that you are all well. Our talk about Al Imam Al Bukhari is endless. If I could make these episodes 100, I wouldn't mind. Anyway, we are talking today about how Sahih Al Bukhari was transmitted to us. Because there is this category of people who are probably insane sometimes, you could say, who denies facts. It's like denying the sun or the moon. When you deny Sahih Al Bukhari and its existence, it's like denying. Uh, the sun and the moon, or even denying your own existence. Sahih al-Bukhari reached us through mutawatir method, that is to say through thousands of people who picked it up from al-Imam al-Bukhari. Al-Imam al-Bukhari wrote his books and presented it to the people of his time. There were copies circulated in his time, and he went around the Muslim world teaching Sahih al-Bukhari in several cities. And al-Firabri mentioned that 90,000 people studied Sahih al-Bukhari alongside him with al-Imam al-Bukhari, the author. However, we have several narrations. The narration of al Imam al Bazdawi, the narration of Al Imam Hamad ibn Shakir al Nasafi, the narration of Al Imam Ibrahim ibn Ma'qil al Nasafi, and the narration of Al Imam Muhammad ibn Yusuf al Firabri, which earned a lot of fame. And uh, this is what we have today. And through all of these Imams, there were students who studied under them and picked up Sahih al Bukhari from them. And Al Imam Muhammad ibn Yusuf al Firabri died year 320, had uh, many students. The top of them are Abu Ishaq al Mustamli, Abu al Haytham al Kushmi. And Ibn Hamouya as Sarakhsi Abdullah Ibn Ahmad. And uh, one of the top students of these three is Abu Dhar al Harawi, Abd Ibn Ahmad. And his copy is considered one of the major original copies of Sahih al Bukhari. This is the copy that uh, Al Hafiz Ibn Hajar al Asqalani used in his commentary, Fatah al Bari. Here we should mention that Imam al Firabri had the original copy of Sahih al Bukhari handed down to him by the author himself, by Imam al Bukhari. And uh, Several of his students used that original copy to compare their copies to it. Later on, we have the copy of Imam Abu Al-Waqat, Abd Al-Awwal Ibn Isa, Al-Sijdi, Al-Sufi, Al-Harawi, the copy of Al-Qadi Abu Al-Walid Al-Sadafi, which became actually the most original copy of the Moroccan narrations of Sahih Al-Bukhari. Then the copy of a great woman, Karima bint Ahmad Al-Marwaziyya, who lived 100 years and died year 463. And later on, the most important copy of Sahih Al-Bukhari is the copy of Al-Imam Sharaf al din Ali ibn al Hussein al Yunini. This is known as al Yunini, which we will speak about, inshallah, in the next episode. Peace be upon you all. <laughs>